Well, hello again. Here's another good one for the five-minute uh, yes or no treatment. Are e-scooters a good idea? Well, the sudden arrival in our streets of e-scooters has certainly started a debate about whether they're a good idea or not. At present, uh, uh, by the way, privately owned e-scooters are illegal. You can only use them on your own land. So, so we're in the midst of a trial everywhere in England, and certainly here in Canterbury. Uh, it's controlled by an app and, and all of that, and, and it's becoming controversial. So, you know, what are the arguments? Uh, first of all, those who say, yes, they are a good idea, well, Principally, it's an environmental argument. They're quiet, they don't cause uh, air pollution, uh, that's pretty good. They're easier to park, therefore more convenient for users, they take less space. Uh, they lend themselves to vehicle sharing, sharing a socially desirable idea, and, and lessening the need for capital outlay for vehicles on the part of the user. You don't need a driver's license. Uh, riders can circumvent congestion and heavy traffic. Uh, and riding e-scooters is fun. So, okay, well, there's those are some pretty good arguments. What about those that say, no, they are not, they're not a good idea? Well, most of all, they're dangerous for pedestrians. There have been a number of accidents and incidents, and as a consequence, the Kent Police Commissioner has called for the trial to be abandoned. The environmental argument is much weaker than it first appears. Yeah, information from users in France indicates that very few e-scooter trips are undertaken as an alternative to using a motor vehicle. Uh, nearly all are used as an alternative, either taking public transport or walking. So there's virtually no environmental benefit. It's a phony argument. And in any case, according to my grandson, they really are only of interest in use to drug dealers distributing their wares. Uh, they're dangerous to operate, especially because no hand signals are possible. They're too easy to steal. You can just bundle them into the boot of your car. Uh, our roads in England are not suitable for this kind of technology. We don't have the widespread network of cycle lanes like they do in Holland. Uh, controlling misuse, reckless driving while intoxicated, threatening behavior and the like. It's just one more burden to, to put on the police. They should be out there catching murderers and pedophiles and people like that, not, not uh, being burdened with this kind, of, uh, this kind of problem. Well, what's my take on it? Well, I must say, it's, it certainly sounded like a good idea initially until I really dug into it. And then, then I decided that the, because there seems to be negligible environmental benefit and quite a bit of disruption and objection on the part of communities, I've just concluded it's a bad idea. So let's forget about the whole thing and ban them. Well, that's the way I come out. Uh, if you like that, uh, give me a like, <laughs> uh, subscribe, uh, and so forth. And thanks a lot. Uh, see you at the next one. Bye-bye.